Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Starchild Tarot and I'm here with another Pick a Pile reading. First of all I want to thank you all so much for your support. Um, don't forget to win a free reading this week. Um, just subscribe, like and comment the word magic. Um, things will be changing on Tuesday. I'll do a little video about that, explaining that. Um, so look out for that. Um, check out my other channels, Star, uh, Star Magic Inspirations. Check out my deck shop, Over 90 Designs. Um, check out my Patreon, mid-tier is just $6 at the moment. And if you sign up before the 1st of September, again, that's another way you can get a free reading from me as a thank you. Um, if you enjoy my videos, you can support my channel by leaving a donation. I'll put the links down below. Okay, so we're doing your, we've got true confessions, pick a pile here. Okay, so this is a person on your mind, um, could be somebody you're with, somebody you're in separation with, um, you know, could be somebody from the past, and we're going to dive deep into their true confessions. Are they still thinking of you? What are they thinking of you? So pile one, we've got the pyramid. Part two, we've got like the obelisk. And part three, we have the heart. So pick your pile and we'll get, your, we'll get started. Hello, pile one, you chose the pyramid. And I have pre-shuffled the oracles, but we're going to start off with the tarot. See what if we can get a clue as to who this person might be. So who is this person for pile one that wants to make a true confession? What can you tell us? about this situation for pile one so we've got the death card so that's talking about transformation yeah wheel of fortune so a new beginning in life a turn of fortune five of cups there's been sadness and disappointment in love and eight of wands so it does look like there is going to be communication coming in for some of you, fast communication with the Eight of Wands, passionate communication. So why is the Death card there? We've got Ace of Pentacles, so there is definitely a new beginning coming towards you here. And then we've got Ten of Pentacles, so that's that abundant energy, you know, the Ten of Coins, that's um, a relationship, home, family, financial stability and abundance. So, you know, this is coming towards you. And we've got four of swords. So yeah, you've done that healing with that five of cups. Sadness and disappointment. You've done that healing. You've gone within. You've spent time alone. You've healed yourself. Okay, and you're ready for a new cycle in your life. And we've got the eight of wands energy there. And we've got the hierophant. So you're ready for that stability. You're ready for some sort of commitment in your love life. So what else can you tell us? Can you tell us any more about this person who has true confessions to make? We've got Six of Cups, so it does look like it could be somebody from the past. Maybe it was somebody you had that disappointment in love with. Okay, This is that uh, reconciliation card. But you've become stronger. You're not the same as you was. And I think the other person has done work on themselves because we've got healing energy and we've got balanced energy. So I feel that you're both more balanced and you're going to come into balance. And we've got Knight of Cups energy. So it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could just be somebody's feeling very romantic and loving towards you. Okay, let's, let's get your oracle messages. So the overall energy, we've got waiting. She waits patiently, her fingers feeling the satin thread that binds them together. She knows who will come, but the waiting is killing her. Timing is an important factor in life. We all have to go through times where we have to wait, show patience, and let life and the universe do as they wish. And so she waits for him, knowing that she too has things she must finalise before they meet, and they can finally come together. So it's like a clarification there. It feels very strongly that this can be a reconciliation for some of you. You needed to do work on yourself separately to do that healing, to come into balance, to become stronger, okay, in some way. And you needed to be in separation to do that. 
So yeah, there's a lot of passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This person feels very passionately towards you. We saw that with that Eight of Wands energy. And great love is work, worth taking the steps you're guided to take, make the effort. So I do feel they want to make the effort to reconcile with you. And they want to really get to know you and you get to know them. Share your innermost selves to deepen the bond that you share. They're feeling this bond, this connection. And with you, they, they had this sexual freedom with you. Maybe they could express themselves if you were intimate with them in a way that they hadn't been able to before. Maybe you're very open with that. And they feel it was serendipity that you met. They feel it was destined. It was meant to be. You know, that's how they're feeling about that. And, you know, we've got maturity. I feel that you've both matured. We had that strength energy and the healing energy. I feel that you've both done a lot of maturing, okay? And you've both come into balance within yourself. So you're you're feeling much better about who you are. So this is my romantic uh, Mermaid Oracle Part 1 and 2. So there was definitely a spark of attraction between you from the word go, but it was one-sided love at some point. So for you, viewer, maybe you were the one that was feeling the love and the other person didn't or vice versa, but it wasn't mutual back then. Somebody was closed off, but there's going to be gest gestures of love coming in here and the love angels are bringing you two together. So this is divinely guided connection here. Your angels are guiding this and... This person sees you as their divine feminine. If you're in the feminine energy, they see you as their partner. And they want to talk about you and me. They want to talk to you. So we did see that there is that coming together. So what other feelings? Yeah, they want to kiss and snog you. They really miss that with you. They want to enjoy sensual pleasures with you to express themselves that way. They're daydreaming about you. And they want to have soapy bath time fun with you. So this is my new deck, Late Night Thoughts and Desires. So no one is like you. So maybe they've dated other people since you and nobody compares to you and they miss you so much. Okay, sometimes we have to miss some somebody, don't we, to realise how much they mean to us. I want to surprise you, buy you some beautiful lingerie and let's make love all night long. They want to express themselves with you sexually. So final message is, I'm fearful and anxious of how strong my feelings are for you. So they could be feeling overwhelmed with their feelings. And I'm working on my healing right now. So we saw that, you know, they're doing, you're both doing healing on yourselves. And you you are so sexy, so desirable. I want you bad, I want you now. So this pull, this sexual pull, but there is love here. Because we've got that Knight of Cups energy and they do want to commit with this Hierophant energy. Okay, it's pulling them back towards you there. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, part one. Sending you love and blessings. Hello, part two. You chose the obelisk. So we're going to have a look at who has true confessions to make about you. What, who's going to make true confessions for part two? Let's see if we can find out who this might be. Who has true confessions to make about part two? Who has true confessions to make about part two? So this could be somebody that you know, somebody you're with, somebody you're in separation with, somebody you haven't seen for some time, you know, whatever your situation is, the person that's on your mind. But let's see if we can find out who this person is for part two. So we've got nine of cups. So I think you're a wish fulfillment for this person with that nine of cups energy. And we've got the death card. So this person's been through a transformation. You both could have been. And we've got Ace of Cups. So this person wants a beginning, a new beginning here with you. And we've got Page of Swords. So this could be somebody watching you. Could be an air sign here. Somebody's watching you from afar online. Why is the Nine of Cups here? We've got Ten of Pentacles. Well, yeah. They want this with you. They want this Ten of Pentacles. They want this relationship, this home, this family, this financial stability and abundance. You are their wish fulfillment. This is what this person is wanting. Why is the death card there? Wow, we've got the Emperor. So this is your divine counterpart. This is a masculine energy. 
for those of you watching that are feminine and we've got the magician this is somebody that's been manifesting this connection and they want a brand new beginning i feel it's somebody you're not with okay it, it feels like somebody wants a fresh start with you here what else can you tell us what else can you tell us Yeah, we've got Night Swords, so definitely could be air sign energy uh, you're connecting with. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it could be younger than you with that Night Swords, but it's fast communication. So I do feel this person wants to come in and share some truth with you, to be honest with you. And we've got Nine of Pentacles, so I could see you in that energy, somebody single, somebody independent, somebody grounded, somebody financially stable. And um, we've got Five of Pentacles, yeah, they feel shut out or left out by you in some way. Um, maybe you walked away or they walked away. There's been no communication is what it feels like to me. And we've got four of cups. So they've realised this was a, a missed opportunity here with you. Okay. And they want to move away from the past. And the past way that they were acting maybe and behaving towards you. They want to make things right between you. They want that smoother, to sail into smoother waters with you. Yeah, they've been through a lot. <clears throat> okay, they've been through a lot. <clears throat> but they want that new beginning. They're ready for a fresh start. They they haven't given up. They want that. They're hoping you'll give them another chance. Here. Yeah. What else can you tell us? Yeah, we've got eight of wands. So there's communication coming in. Sometimes people call that the arrows of love. They're definitely wanting to communicate. And we've got king of swords. So we've got page, knight and king of swords. So it's very strong um, air sign energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this person could have been immature, I feel, when you knew them. They could have been in that page energy and they've done some maturing. They've gone through the night and now they're at the king. So this could be that they've matured, okay, and they're understanding things. And they want to message you. They want to communicate their passion to, towards you. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, we've got the world energy. So they want a new cycle to begin with you. They want to leave the past behind. They want to have a new opportunity. Wow. And we've got Ten of Cups. Wow. So we've got Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So they're definitely wanting this with you, this loving relationship with you. Okay. They, they feel this strong connection with you. Wow. Okay, let's get the overall energy. So we've got coming together. She looked over at him and for a split moment she swears she did not recognise him. Today feels different, she thinks to herself as her eyes connect. He smiles at her and in a knowing that today has transformed. New feelings are emerging and you are seeing someone in a new light. What was not, not there before, whether felt yet or just not yet known, is now making itself known for you. So, yeah, there is this coming together, this energy of wanting to come together. And this person, I feel, has had a realisation of what you really are to them, okay? And they're going to seem very different. It's the same person, but when you meet them again, I do feel they want to meet with you again. They're going to feel different in some way because I feel they've matured. They've done that maturing. Yeah, we've got let go of control issues, allowed the situation to unfold naturally. So <clears throat> one or both of you could be could have been trying to control the situation in the past. Sometimes we do that from a hurt space to feel safe. OK, this person could have been trying to control everything. We've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So again, both of you could have an ex that was involved at the time. Maybe one person was still with somebody or hadn't really cut cords with that person and I feel you know one or both of you has definitely moved on from that ex situation soulmate energy yes this is your soulmate so this person is really feeling that connection with you and they felt the rainbow reviver they felt very healed in your energy some of you maybe your reiki healers or your healer of some sort some sort 
um, they've really, I feel they've done work on themselves as well. They've been doing healing work or received some sort of Reiki. And the sacred woman, they see you in this energy, somebody very sacred, someone very special, this spiritual energy, maybe some of your shamans or very connected to nature in some way. And they see you as somebody that has really good self-respect and they didn't respect you maybe in the past. There was a lack of that. And I feel it was because this person didn't respect themselves either. And I feel that you've both grown in your own um, self-respect, your self-worth. So this is my romantic mermaid oracle deck. So going within, yeah, time time has been spent going within, doing meditation, connecting with your self. This person has really done that. And looking at what they really want in love. What is it they want in love? And trusting in divine timing, trusting that what will be will be. And they feel such passion, love and desire for you. And they want to reunite with you. Okay, they know they know that you're destined and you know their their feelings are there you know they've fallen in love you know they may have denied their feelings to you before but they've fallen in love they're feeling their feelings so what are their other desires so a picnic in the park you know time to meet up in the fresh air spend some time together catching up um to buy you some sexy lingerie you know buy you a gift of some sort and they want you to know they adore you, okay, they adore you. And they want to stay overnight at your place or you stay with them. They want to be there in the morning when you wake. So this is my late night thoughts and desires deck. I want you to forgive me, but I'm not sure I even deserve it. So, you know, they feel bad about what happened. I feel they're working on their own self-forgiveness right now and they're hoping that you will forgive them. But they're being hard on themselves and not sure if you would forgive them or if they deserve it. You're so sexy to me, you turn me on so much. So, you know, there was this strong sexual connection. I'm imagining you doing a sexy strip for me. I won't be able to take my eyes off you. So they're fantasising about you a lot. And you are a skillful lover and one no one aroused me the way you did. So if you were intimate that you stood out amongst their other people they've been with or they're fantasizing about that with you and I was not being honest with myself I'm sorry that I hurt you so they realized that they were in denial of their feelings and I'm so excited about seeing you again I cannot wait so they definitely want to make some sort of contact some sort of movement forward towards you here so beautiful messages part two I'm going to leave it there love and blessings hello part three you chose the heart so this is who has who true confessions of somebody on your mind. So this could be somebody you're with, somebody you're in separation with, somebody you haven't seen for some time. So take what resonates. So we're just going to start with the tarot to get a bit more information and then we'll get the oracles. So for pile three, who is the person um, that has true confessions towards pile three? Who what can you tell us about this situation? Who is the person that has true confessions for pile three? Who is the person that has true confessions for pile three? So we've got high priestess energy here. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups, the Sun. Well, it could be an Earth sign. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles is that slow moving energy. This is somebody that's very tapped into their intuition. And with the Three of Cups, I feel they want to celebrate. They want to feel that joy and happiness with you. They want to maybe take you out. Okay. So, what else can you tell us about the High Priestess? Wow, we've got the lover's energy here. So they feel this soulmate energy with you. And we've got the world. Yeah, they want a new beginning here. They want a new cycle with you. So this could be somebody you're in separation from. And we've got six of pentacles. So they, they're coming into balance. They want to come into balance with you. They want to be in that energy of give and take. 
and maybe they weren't in that before yeah justice is coming in so we've got the song clarified by justice so i do feel this is destined this person feels you as a soulmate okay they want to come forward and offer you you know balance offer you some you know fun times together some joy some happiness justice you know balance what else can you tell part three about this yeah we've got five of swords so that's defeated energy there was something that didn't work out before between you and we've got the death card so yeah there's there's an end of a cycle here um a transformation okay something didn't work out before but work has happened on on each other on yourselves and we've got Knight of Cups energy here. So somebody's feeling loving and romantic. Um, so some of you could be connecting to water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it's an earth water person. Um, but this is somebody feeling loving, feeling romantic, wanting to offer their cup of love. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the tide is turning, things are turning in your favour. And we've got Hierophant energy. So this person wants to have that stability, have that commitment. Wow. And we've got Ten of Pentacles. So they're wanting that loving connection. They're wanting that home, that family. Wow. Wow. It's very clear. So let's get the overall energy. So we've got Risk. She tied her heart around her waist on her knees, securing it tightly, knowing that anything can happen, but nothing can if she doesn't risk it to be able to have it. She lifts herself off the cliff and goes for it. So I do feel this person's getting ready to take a risk, to move, come forward towards you, okay, getting pulled, because they know that you deserve love and that you are lovable. And they have come into that energy of self-love within themselves. And in that energy of self-love, they know that they're, they're lovable too, they're worthy of love. And they feel this past life connection so you could have known each other in a past life, been in a relationship in a past life. So when you met, they could have been that instant recognition. And they feel this is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So they're really feeling their feelings for you right now. So they see your luminosity. They see you glow. They see you bright in the world. You've got that bright aura, that positivity around you, um, that gentleness, that calmness, that... Um, unconditional love that compassion energy you know you stand out amongst others and they want that emotional freedom with you they know that you are not a controlling person they don't want to be in a codependent relationship and they feel that they can have that with you emotional freedom and they feel that inner peace when they when they've been in your energy they they get a lot of peace from being with you and we've got romantic mermaid oracle they want playful fun times, yeah, as I said, they want to be playful, have fun with you. They felt this intense attraction, as I say, it could be past life memory. And the mermaid angel of love is around you, bringing you together, I feel. And they love you from the moon and stars and back. So they've really gone deep with their feelings. And they want this blissful love with you. They want to express themselves in that way. And they feel this deep soul connection, as I say, they feel this soulmate connection. And they want to heal from the past with you. That you know, being in this connection will help you both heal from whatever has happened in the past. So French kissing. So they want to kiss you, but it could also mean they want to take you away for a mini break or something. For some of you, maybe it is to France. We've got the Eiffel Tower here. Okay, they want to reconcile with you. They feel so much passion for you, so much passion. And they want to get swept away with their passion and desire. They just want to go for it, you know, just take that risk and they want you to be theirs you know they want to love you forever they want to be be with you they want to commit to this and they want to embrace you hold you and love you all night you know they're really missing you so we've got late late night thoughts and desires the last time i saw you i know i hurt you i'm so sorry so there was something that happened we did have that defeated energy there okay and when I think of those sexy times we shared, I get so aroused. So they still think of you. They still fantasize about you. I imagine you waiting for me in your sexy lingerie. So these fantasies. And I want to spend the rest of our lives treating you right if you let me. They want to make it up to you in a big way. They really want to make it up to you here. 
and all I want is to find inner peace. I did find it with you. Why did I push you away? So we had that inner peace come out. So, you know, they were fighting their own feelings. Yeah, I am my own worst enemy at times. So, yeah, they were, they've realised this now. And I'm becoming more open to my new ideas in life, new ways of looking at things. So they're looking at things in a whole new way. And you are my fantasy baby. So, as I said, they're fantasising a lot about you, but they do have deep feelings for you. They want to commit to this. They want to have that happiness and joy and that connection, that abundance with you. So I'm going to leave it there, part three. Don't forget to win a reading, subscribe, like, and comment the word magic. And I will see you next time. Many blessings.